It's Ms. Sofferman coming to you today from the potions classroom in Hogwarts. I just wanted to give everyone a little bit of an update on things that are going on in the library and um, stuff that's available to you coming up for over the next week. First of all, did you know that April is school library month? Jason Reynolds, who's the author of the track series like um, Sunny and Lou and Ghost, um, and he's also written Long Way Down and a whole bunch of other really, really amazing books, is the um, the school library ambassador, the, the National School Library ambassador for the year. So he has this new program going on called Tell Your Story. And if it's something that you are interested in, then click on uh, visit the library website and there is a link. Um, I also wanted to announce the winner of this year's book, Madness. This year's book, Madness, uh, went a very, very different way from, I think, the way anybody expected. The winner is, the winner was I Survived, the I Survived series, which I guess makes a lot of sense considering what's going on right now. Um, nobody filled out the bracket completely correctly, including me. Um, but the closest winner, um, what I did was I looked at who got closest and drew a name. And the winner this year is uh, Kayla Russell. So congratulations, you'll be receiving something once um, we're able to get back, once I'm able to get back into the school, I have something that I will mail to you. The DCF award, um, which is the Dorothy Canfield Fisher Award, where there are two things going on related to the DCF award. Number one, the voting is happening. So if you've read at least five DCF books, you're eligible to vote. That link is on the library website. But the other thing that's going on with the DCF award is they're trying to rename it. Um, and so they're asking students, Vermont students, to try to come up with a name, something that you might, um, might think would be a good name. So you can go on the library website for the link for the name and if you have an idea and post that. Uh, we are doing a Harry Potter trivia this week during our first chapter Friday. So if you can, you can either send me an email, you can go on the library website or you can join the library classroom. And um, <laughs> there's a link for, Sorry, that was my cat. It's not Mrs. Norris, it's my cat. Um, <laughs> there's a link for um, getting onto the library Google Classroom, which was where I'm posting all this information. So you can join us for Harry Potter trivia um, or just come for uh, any first chapter Friday. During the next week, um, during break, I'm gonna be continuing to post daily read alouds uh, from the books that I have going on, which is The Ruins of Gorlin, um, which is the first Ranger's Apprentice. There's Chirp by Kate Messner. There's Spy Runner, which is kind of like a spy historical fiction thriller by Eugene Yeltsin. And uh, Mr. Rogop is reading Maniac McGee by Jerry Spinelli. So those books are going on. I'm also going to be doing a live read aloud um, during break each day. Um, at one o'clock. So if you want to hear a live read aloud, I'm thinking I will take requests, but I do have these really cool old um, choose your own adventure books that maybe we could try. I thought it might be fun. And last but not least, people have been asking what's going on with the library books they have at home? What do they do with them? Um, I have these library books. I think some people have been concerned about maybe they'd be um, considered late or they'd be charged for them. Do not worry about your library books right now. Um, we've all got bigger things to worry about. I will, we will come up with some sort of a system for getting the books back at some point. I'm not sure what that's going to be yet. Probably once they lift the travel restrictions and things start to open up, we will have some sort of a collection plan. Um, it'll probably be similar, you know, sometime around like, you know, when people go to school to clean out their lockers, whenever that ends up being. So don't worry about your library books, please. You know, if you can keep them in a safe place, that would be great. Um, we're not going to stress too much about the books, but the more books we get back, um, the fewer books I have to replace in the fall and the more of our library budget I can use to buy new things. So uh, I'm hoping over the summer I'll be able to potentially um, have some open library times if things um, open up and we'll be able to get new books to you as soon as possible. So in the meantime, have a great spring break. 
read lots of books and I'll see you after.